Hello, coaches, for the annual holiday giving campaign 2018. Thank you so much for stepping forward. All right, so what I'm going to do in this video today is uh, kind of give you a brief overview of just some of the things we really need from the coaches this year. It's, it's really not that hard, and hopefully answer some, any, uh, some questions you may have. Feel free to stop by my office. Probably the best way to get a hold of me is actually catch me somewhere uh, and talk to me if you have any other, uh, any other questions. So right now, let me talk uh, a little bit about uh, what we have as far as coaches that, has, that have stepped forward. At this point, Team Rudolph, uh, we have Denise Hudgen and Jennifer Jones. So we only have two coaches identified for Rudolph at this point uh, as of Thursday at 8.30 in the morning. So uh, Denise and Jennifer, you might want to go out and recruit some folks um, or, or whatnot. Now, if anybody comes forward in an email, I'll let you know. Again, a team donor, you can always, we're not excluding anybody from being a coach. So if you recruit somebody and let's say you get four coaches, you get, you pick up the two more that you need and someone else steps forward. Sure. You got five reason being is uh, probably where you want to have at least three and target four coaches. Is there 60 people per team and, um, how you wish to, uh, kind of break that up. Uh, well, we'll talk about that in a moment, but right now, uh, Team Rudolph, you need a couple more coaches. So go out there and shake the trees, uh, Denise and Jennifer, and see if you can get some more folks on there. I mean, I'm looking at the list. There were some people last year who were coaches that are on the list. But go ahead and look at your team roster and see um, if you want to go out for individual recruiting. At this point, I probably would. You know how this works for those of you that were on these teams. you got to get going like right away, get that enthusiasm building. So um, you need uh, some more people to help you out with that. Team Donner, uh, you're looking good. You, you know, we've got um, uh, Jeannie Clough, uh, Juliet uh, Hebert, and um, Deanna Vatan. So uh, we got three, three strong coaches in there right now. I would go out and get a fourth, uh, but you could probably get by with three. Again, three is the minimum. Four uh, is the uh, probably the target. All right, so Donner, go out and get yourself one more, and Rudolph, go out and get at least two more coaches. Okay, why? Well, each list has about 60 names on it. So, you know, again, it's up to you. We're letting the teams decide how they wish to organize and energize their base. Um, in the past, some teams uh, had multiple, you know, they all had multiple coaches. We, well, in the past, last year. <laughs> so this is the first year. This is the second year we've, we've done this big, enthusiastic kind of uh, um, team effort for the uh, annual holiday giving campaign. But uh, they kind of broke it up. So, you know, one coach would be given, you know, let's say 15 people, you know, energize those 15 people get those donations going with those 15 people so you can you can kind of uh, sub it out if you will um with the four coaches and you know if they're located geographically or throughout the college that helps too all right you may want to take that approach with multiple coaches so that helps uh, up to you you don't have to do that approach it's just one thing that a, a team did last year um but uh, again, having more voices in there to energize your base uh, is the better, whether you decide to have sub teams or not. Um, the uh, some of you that were coaches last year, I mean, they did some great like creative things. They were posting things on people's doors, you know, that were part of their team. Little candy, like you know, don't forget to donate. Um, you know, they were doing things like every couple of days to energize their base to get those donations up and going. I would recommend that right away, um, even if you don't have your full complement of coaches yet, um, that you get your, what you do have, get those coaches together and you start strategizing how you're going to attack this thing. So um, there's my, don't wait until next week because you already would have lost a week. We actually lost one day. We thought we were going to get the email out on a Monday, a little miscommunication. It came out on Tuesday. So we already lost a day there. But again, you probably want to get your coaches together and decide how you want to attack this and, and get your uh, get your donations up so let's talk a little bit about your role in this other than you know your how you want to champion your team to victory what we need you to do is to serve as collection points for the items so 
uh, you're going to be getting items coming in, and, I, and we ask you to do this. Go find, start collecting some boxes. You know, the, I love these kind of, I love these copier paper boxes. These are great. Uh, start collecting some boxes around. And items, you're going to let your team know um, that you're the collection point. I'll also be overly communicating that as well. You look for emails probably twice a week throughout the campaign, just reemphasizing certain points. But you're going to serve as a collection point. So people are going to come in with their socks or their shampoos or their whatever, and you're going to drop them in the boxes. Okay. You're also going to, as they come in with their stuff, you know, you're going to count it and go, okay, you know, um, you know, Victor, all right, you got 10 items. That's 10 points. You know what the items, you know the point values of the items. We have to stick to the item list. This is what the needs list is. Okay, so they got to stick to this, all right, which is very condensed, easy to get dollar store items in almost all these cases. So very easy for them to, to grab stuff. Um, but, you know, a, a person will come in, you count the items, you got 10 items, okay? Every five or 10 points, remember every item has a point value. They may have one winter coat. One brand new winter coat is 20 points, okay? So you're going to figure out what the point total is for that individual, and then you're going to give them a raffle ticket, okay? I'm going to be by today, and I'm going to give you a supply of tickets, okay? And you know how these things work. You give them the bottom portion that says, keep this coupon. That one goes to the person that's donating. And then this thing that says um, ticket, you can just stick it in an envelope. Okay. So collect those. At some point in the future, I'll be collecting those tickets to put them in a giant fish bowl and draw. If they want to, on the back, it's up to them. If they want to, they can put their... I don't know if you can see that, but there's a name and address thing. They can put that if they want. You know, maybe just their first and last name. That, that's fine. Um, the key is each one is serial numbered. So that's it's got a serial number on there. So they don't have to do that. Because um, we're just going to say, you know, uh, when we pull the drawing, you know, number 835077, you've won the Kindle Fire. Okay. Which I do have the three prizes we have the kindle fire tablet we've got the fire stick and we got the echo dot so you know again you can use that to help energize your group so they can get tickets they can get unlimited amount of tickets okay it's just every five points they get give them a ticket when you run out of tickets come and see me and i'll get you some more tickets i'll hopefully give you a pretty generous supply but wouldn't it be great if i had to order some more of these tickets um okay so you're going to be counting the items Determining a point value, issuing a ticket, dropping them in a box. Please keep track of total points uh, that you have collected. Okay, so, you know, like I'm, if I was to be that, I would like, okay, this box, I'd start filling this box. I'd have a little piece of paper on here and I'd have a number. Let's say at the end, the box is kind of full. I got 45 points. Okay, not items. Don't care about items. All I care about points. You're going to write clearly on here, Team Donner, Team Rudolph, whatever, 45 points. So when, when, when Sister Sally gets this box, she knows, she doesn't have to count it. She knows this is a Donner box worth 45 points. Boom, she puts it in a storage area. Donner on one side, uh, you know, Rudolph on the other, okay? So if you could please put your number of points on your boxes. Now, and identify with your team. Eventually, you might go, I don't want all these boxes in my office. Bring them to Sister Sally. She has a, um, a spare office. She's going to lock all this stuff in. So when you get a little bit you know, too much, uh, bring it to Sister Sally. Also, please keep track of the total points that you've collected at your collection point. You know, again, it's pretty easy. You'll be looking over there and you got a 45 box, you got a 50 box, you got a 35 box. Maybe you keep a little piece of paper because I'm going to email all the coaches and say, please give me your cumulative point totals. This is really important too to keep this enthusiasm going. You know, when you think about like the blood drives and the, you know, Michigan, Ohio State, and you see the little thermometer, we're going to do something like that too, really starting uh, very, very soon, as soon as we get some items collected. Uh, and that is, is kind of cool where they can see each one is kind of edging up, you know, just waiting to the end. No one, it doesn't create the enthusiasm. So I need 
total point values from each coach. Okay, so I'm going to email, you know, all eight coaches and say, give me your points. Email me back total points. All right, you know, I got 110, I got 75, whatever. I'll add them up and then I'll push that out to the college community so they can see uh, kind of a, again, that thermometer type thing like in uh, blood drives and whatnot. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. Uh, that, that will help um, the counting this year. And it really isn't that hard. I mean, if you think about it, you're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, check, give them a coupon, you know, maybe a little tally sheet five, and then you're going to draw a line, you know, add them all up at the end, boom, done. You know, so we're talking maybe a couple of minutes. Um, so there you go. So that's how that works. Uh, other things, again, you may want to, again, get together with your teams and think of creative ways of, of moving your teams forward. I'm going to put a couple of the, a couple of zingers out there that will help you a little bit. So keep, we'll keep those kind of a, a surprise, but I'll let you know, I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do yet, but it'll be something like this. So let's say next week, I'll probably do it twice. We'll do a couple of zingers. So we might have, um, Again, I'm still working out what, what I got to spend, but the, um, you know, first team to 250 points gets a donut party, you know, and I'll go out and get 10 cases of donuts. We'll stage them in a couple of areas and it will be exclusively for Donner members only or whoever reached a certain point value. So we'll kind of have these surprise hits every now and then. I may even do a surprise drawing too. So that means I would collect all the tickets you've collected, put them in a bowl and draw a name. Okay. And look at the name, look at the number and then put it back in. I'm going to put this ticket back in to let it recirculate for the grand prizes, the one, you know, first, second, third prize. So I think I'm going to do that too. So now I will, um, I'll announce these kind of flash uh challenges let's call them all right that's what we'll call it making this up as i go we'll call them flash challenges so we'll have two flash challenges one might be more uh ticket oriented and the other one might be total team oriented so that'll be a, something to help you a little bit as well to to move them uh to move them on you can develop whatever kind of challenges or, or whatever arm twisting that you want within your own uh teams up to you um and i think you know all of the rest we're going to have the 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 uh at the holiday breakfast we'll announce which team um you know we would appreciate um you know that we do try to keep the flow of items coming up to sister sally consistent last year you know some of the strategies were we're gonna have this huge push in the last day and you know we got like another thousand donations you know like in the last day um because each team was trying to keep their cards close to their chest I think that helps a little bit. I mean, that's kind of exciting. Is hey, all I care about is that we knock it out of the park. I don't care how we get there. But I think um, in order to kind of keep them driving, you know, when they see like, oh, this team's got 750 points and we got 649, you know, all of a sudden the next team, you know, everybody goes out shopping and brings in another 300 items. And now then the next team then, you know, keeps driving. So I think rather than sandbagging, can't say that you're not, you don't, you know, I'm not prohibiting sandbagging, but um, in order to keep driving them higher to higher, higher levels, because um, that's our ultimate goal, you know, is to, we all, we all win by helping the organization. That's, that's what I want to do. So um, try to keep the flow of goods, you know, up to Sister Sally, uh, keep your tallies, uh, you know, pretty um, ta accurate, not accurate, but timely. Um, so when I send an email out, you know, please count all the items that you have, uh, point values that you have in your office and, and send those back to me. Um, and, and try not to encourage people to, hey, you know, hold that thousand items, you know, hold that, you know, 300 pairs of socks until the end. Don't give them. Any, so try not to do that if you could. That way, you know, encourage your folks that, I guess, keep that uh, speed of donation hey you got 300 pairs of socks bring them into me tomorrow because i think who knows we have made another another flash challenge you know because you know who knows when chris is going to do another flash challenge so we'll have uh two of those flash challenges and we got a one you know so think about it it's probably going to be in week right around week two and week four i mean that's all we got so um so there we go all right that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, again, stop by my office. Thank you so much 
uh, for for stepping forward and volunteering. This has really been an exciting thing. Uh, last year was pretty cool. A lot of people, it was, it, was, it was fun. You know, keep the keep the mood and the spirit up here at the college with the faculty and staff. Um, so you, I think you got your marching orders. Rudolph, get yourself two more coaches. Donner, get yourself one more coaches. Go forth uh, and um, assemble. Um, all right, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.